All right, today we're gonna be unboxing the Benelli Supernova Tactical. So, ships in your standard white and red Benelli box. Over on the left side is going to be your manual. And this is a pretty decent manual. And here is going to be illustrated photos. And then in the back, very nice drawings of all of your different parts and pieces along with part numbers and part descriptions. So in the event you need to order a different part or another part, replacement part, you can do so with the part numbers and descriptions. And then standard with most shotguns, your barrel, which is in this box here, is gonna be separated from the receiver. So I'm gonna get those two out of the box and talk about some of the features of them individually, and then I'll put everything together and show you how it looks together. All right, got the box out of the way. So we're gonna start off with some close-up shots of the receiver stock and grip right here. So it's got your standard Benelli styling. Like I said, this is the tactical version, so it does come with your uh, pistol grip and uh, buttstock attached. And here is the barrel. All right, so we'll start off discussing the features of the barrel. This is an 18 and a half inch barrel. The barrel is constructed of steel and it is in a matte blued finish. There's going to be no choke tubes or threading in the barrel itself. And the barrel is also, it seems to be chrome lined, uh, but like I said, I could not figure out the type of steel that Benelli uses in their barrels. It also didn't have anything in regards to chrome lining, but it does look to be chrome lined, if not a polished bore. So here is the receiver. The receiver is gonna be mainly uh, constructed of molded plastic, uh, but on the inside of that is going to be a matte blued stainless receiver. So on the back here is gonna be your stock. You're gonna have a rubber butt pad with the Benelli logo on the rear of it. Sling attachment points, both on the left as well as the right side a rubber overmolded pistol grip with a very nice pinky ledge on the bottom. This is a very grippy rubber right here. The front end right here, the pump, is gonna be very, very long compared to most of your pumps you're gonna see on pump shotguns. Uh, and it's got this nice ribbed texture right here and a little bit of uh, overhang right here so you can get a nice grip on that. Let me get this put together and then uh, I can kind of show you how it looks from there. All right, here's how the shotgun looks with the barrel fixed in place. So like with most standard pump action shotguns, you're gonna have this end cap on the magazine tube, slide the barrel in to the receiver over here, and then you have this loop on the barrel itself. And you'll just tighten that down right there. So moving on back to the receiver, the rear sight is going to be a ghost ring adjustable rear sight, very reminiscent of the Benelli M4 sight. It's going to have two white dots on the left and right side of the ghost ring there. Your adjustment knobs there. And then the front sight is going to be a fixed blade white dot sight, and it's black with that white dot contrasting on the front there. And you have blades on the sides for protecting the sight itself. Now, if you didn't notice, the ejection port is rather large and that's in order to accept the three different sizes or more or less the larger size of shells that you can use here. So on the barrel there, you can notice that it does accept two and three quarter, three inch and three and a half inch shotgun shells. There's your load gate. And the receiver 
it does have the ability to accept a Picatinny rail should you opt to not like the ghost ring sight in the rear there. You can attach a Picatinny rail across the top. Controls are going to be standard. You're going to have a push button safety right here. And it's just a crossbar safety. You're going to have your bolt release button right there. And then again, this is your pump right here. And in order to do that, you're going to have to depress the bolt release. And then you can pull the pump to the rear and load your next shell. Very nice shotgun, especially coming from Benelli. Uh, they are mainly known for semi-auto shotguns. And this has been one of their only uh, pump action shotguns. Uh, but nothing less that you can expect from this one that you wouldn't from your other semi-auto Benelli's. If you guys have any questions on the Benelli Supernova Tactical, just drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back with you. Thank you guys for watching.